What is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new series on the Powerbomb Inc. YouTube channel in which today we're going to be running through a brand new My GM Mode series based off of the Ruthless Aggression Era. And as you can see, I know they have Stephanie McMahon already in the game as a general manager, but, but we do have to kick it back to 2002, Stephanie. And as you can see, as I'm about to be scrolling through all of the people, I can't really show you too much, but you guys got a little glimpse of it. Uh, SmackDown, we will be playing as. We will be going up against a CPU as one Eric Bischoff on Monday Night Raw. And that will be our Ruthless Aggression General Managers, Brands, etc. Now, let's head into the difficulties. Now for the difficulties, we're going to be running through the AI difficulty will be on hard, game difficulty will be on hard, opening budget will be at 3 million, usually we go up to 3.25 uh, 3 million, but this time we're doing 3, and then the rest is just about normal except for the draft pool as we do have a custom draft pool, and now let's head into the draft. Season 1 is that. It pops up on your screen. The draft rules. I'm not going to read through them all. I'm pretty sure you all know the draft rules. Uh, but either way, yeah, as you can see, we have stars like The Rock, Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, Cactus Jack, Undertaker, and Eddie Guerrero, just to name a few, from the Ruthless Aggression era. And I, I've downloaded a lot of people. A lot of people. But the only problem was... Um, some people, like, I had to get 50 total active stars, and then, like, 30 locals or whatever. So, for the active stars, right, I wanted to make guys like Scott Hall a legend because he really wasn't, you know, an active competitor in the uh, Ruthless Aggression roster. Same thing with Cactus Jack, but some of the things we cannot do considering I, I had to have 50 people. Also, adding to that whole list, all the women will be specialists just to make it a little bit easier on me, you know, trying to book the shows with the women, uh, considering there's not a whole heck of a lot of them. So it makes it fairly difficult to try breaking them all down. But I think our number one overall draft pick. Okay, so I want to try something new. I want to try doing a bunch of babyface fighters while also doing... Um, some heel bruisers. That's what I would like to try doing. So as we scroll down, there's quite a bit of heel bruisers. And yes, we do have two Cena's in here. We have the prototype and then we have the Doctor of Thugonomics. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do heel bruisers, babyface fighters. That's kind of the standard I want to set for. And I think a perfect Number one overall draft pick will be the American Badass Undertaker. Let's see what Ross selects, and they choose the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, breaking my heart with that draft pick. We just can't let them get both members of D-Generation X, so we're going to be picking up Triple H. As Monday Night Raw selects Trish Stratus. Stratus, like I said, a specialist already. Um, we need to pick up a second Ezekiel Bruiser. Also, yeah, Ezekiel. He, Ezekiel's locked, by the way. Uh, yeah, just... The, I hate how you can't... Yeah, I have to go in, and I know I have to go in and lock it. But whatever, we're choosing John Cena. It's Monday Night Raw selects Scott Hall. Maybe they could rerun the ladder match to unify the Intercontinental Championships. But now we're going to go for a babyface fighter in which I am thinking... I think that's a perfect decision to throw in a little bit of Jeff Hardy. As Monday Night Raw selects heat, there's Ezekiel. Ezekiel, we're opening up the forbidden doors. Here comes Ezekiel to the Ruthless Aggression Era. But now, let's pick up our first female of... Of it. Uh, <laughs> of, we're picking up our first female in which I feel like... Since they're all specialists, we need to pick up a couple of heels before all the heels get off the board. So we're picking up Lita. And Monday Night Raw selects Stacy Keebler. We need to pick up. There's only a handful. Michelle McCool, uh, Tori Wilson, Victoria. I'm thinking, based off stamina alone. Ooh, Victoria could be a good. 
She has a lot more. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're picking up Victoria, considering her stamina and popularity. It's fairly high. Dang, dang. I really did want Edge, but either way, now we now we've picked up a couple of women. Um, now I'm thinking we could pick up a couple more. A couple more of the guys. A couple more guys. So, who do we have? We got Taker, Triple H, John Cena, and Jeff Hardy. Now, we do need some... Mm, this is going to be difficult. Ooh, Orton. Orton, Flair, Rock. Rock is still on the board, and with a 70 popularity, I think that's a really good choice. I'm thinking we could pick up, like, two specialists each uh, for the male side. And then, you know, you know, uh, heal, babyface, and heal. So I'm thinking, let's pick up Rocky. I know he's a lot of money, but I think it's going to be a well worth investment as Shelton Benjamin. Money and I Raw picking up Shelton. Now, instead, we are going to choose a babyface. Babyface specialist. And, well, I had to download somebody. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> As we're going to be picking up, I think we have to pick up Rey Mysterio, and then we can do some heel giants. Yeah. So we have quite a few, and there goes Kali. There goes the great Kali. But we do have quite a few of, uh, of heel giants, which is good. Good. So... I'm thinking we could pick up, uh, ooh, need some more baby faces on the board. Let's pick up Kane. Well, we could pick up Kane. Kane's a good pick, as they pick up Ashley. It's another really good pick. And then I think we could pick up Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash. Yeah, let's pick up Kevin. As they pick up Devon Dudley. Devon Dudley, as we're going to be picking up Eddie Guerrero. That's rounding out our roster so far. So I'm thinking we pick up another, maybe, br oh, our budget's only 3,000, 300,000. So I think we have to pick up a couple of women here as, wow, Maria with uh, 90 stamina, solid popularity. I think we have to pick up Maria. Maria headed over to SmackDown as they pick up Kelly. Kelly. And then we... We need another female. We need we need some more female. Uh, Melina. Melina could be a good pick. Mickey James. Yeah, let's pick up Mickey. Never mind. Well, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to end the draft right here. I didn't realize how low our budget actually got, but that is still a solid looking roster. Uh, confirm ended in the draft right there. But yeah, that is a solid looking roster. Is they're gonna pick up Carlito? Are they gonna end it right there? No, they're gonna pick up Eugene as well. So money wise, we are still kind of similar. We're very similar, as you can see, uh, Eugene on the right hand side. But either way, we are still very similar when it comes to our money, when it comes to our talent. They got a couple of more talent, but it is okay. Uh, we picked up some more popular guys. I think we already know about the WWE Hall of Fame trophies. Uh, we have to get there's a bunch of different you know challenges and all that. The people who are the fans of the AW My GM, you guys know all about this. Tonight is the night, the debut show. We have high hopes for you. With the roster we have, I think we'll be okay. Can't wait to get started. We're gonna storm this. Yes, we are. Good. I'm expecting big things in SmackDown this season. Make it an amazing show. Right on, Hunter. Hey, Stephanie, I just wanted to let you know that I plan on taking Raw to the top of the power rankings and staying there. I have the roster and show running capabilities to do it. I don't think SmackDown stands a chance. You really think you can contend with us when we have superstars like Shawn Michaels? Get real. Alrighty. Some, some big words. Huge words. Coming from uh, Bischoff's mouth. But either way, I think... World champ, it only makes sense. Ruthless aggression. We have to go with Triple H. And then for the female side, I'm thinking it has to be Maria. Just because her she's the only babyface. 
compared to the other two heels. So yeah, Maria is the women's champion. In progress, Triple H is seeing how your first show fares. As we have to have at least one Extreme Rules match as we are four weeks away from Backlash. What, will we get a GM interference book show? Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, we should be able to do this. Uh, free agents, though, as you can see, we do have a lot of people. We do have a lot of people. And for the sum of the legends, we have three legends. We got Stone Cold Steve Austin, Mr. McMahon, and, of course, Molly Ollie. You know, she's locked as well, so I can't really change that up. That... Ooh. I'm thinking we may have to wait till Stone Cold pops up with a 10-weeker. Because if we can get him for 10 weeks and use that power card, Legend Whisperer... We will be really good, but I think we're going to use the Birth of Legends card with SmackDown as we're getting a bunch more popularity for Triple H, Maria, Undertaker, Kevin Nash, Eddie Guerrero, and Alita. But I am also kind of debating if we should do this because if we can get this out the gate, a solid five star, we can really, really rack it up. But I think we should look at our season challenges, complete five challenges, resolve five rivalries with a title match. That should be fairly simple. Fulfill five promises to superstars. That will happen over time. Book 10 tag team matches. Uh, okay. You know, that's, that's pretty simple considering I feel like I'm going to be using a lot of tag teams over the course of this. Purchase all power cards before a show. We don't have the money to do that right now, but book eight shows with all promo slots filled. We're going to be doing that. Use three power cards in one round. And book 15 one-on-one -on -one championships and then complete 12 commissioner goals. So I'm thinking we could do this. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Health spot. Ah, we're go too extreme. So our main event will be the extreme rules match. So we can get, we can get quite a few, uh, out the gate already, but we are going to be running triple H and I'm thinking I am thinking we run Undertaker for the World Heavyweight Championship in an Extreme Rules match. Stamina is very high. We can get that started. As now I'm thinking we could also do, uh, maybe we can do the tag team. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what we are going to end up doing. We're going to do John Cena versus Jeff Hardy for the Intercontinental Championship. But we also, we're going to have to do Kevin Nash and Kane taking on Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. For the tag titles get that going and then we also have the rock we have lita and victoria or also maria uh all available all available so i'm thinking we can start off with we can start off with maria and victoria for the women's championship their popularities though i'm trying to figure out popularity reasons i think that's going to do a little bit better i think this will be our best or second or third best there we go 71 yeah yeah all right yeah as The Rock, 5, level 5, you love to see it. Lita, level 4, you love to see it. As now we have to pick up. Ooh, that, that kind of sucks. That does kind of blow, I will say. Uh, but I think we should be okay. We, we already have quite a few extra things coming about. As, uh, you know what, for The Rock, we're going to do advertisement. He already has 70 popularity. He can, you know, be docked a couple of, but I think we're going to confirm the booking. As SmackDown, we're going to be simulating this up. Who will be the first ever tag team champions for the SmackDown roster? It is Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero, the three and a half star level one rivalry. You'll love to see it as The Rock. Okay. That kind of sucks, but minus six, but we did get $14,000 in which we brutally need it. Uh, John Cena versus Jeff Hardy simulated it up. We'll be the Intercontinental Champ John Cena walking away with it. And a two and a half star, no rivalry. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. As we gain 3,000 fans from Lita's charity promo. Now Maria will have to defend her championship, and she does not retain as Victoria picks up the victory in a three star level one rivalry. Now we're headed off to the main event. The main event being an Extreme Rules match. We already played a card on this. Perfect. Everything should be... This should be a five-star. Or a four-and-a-half at the least. As the Undertaker, new World Heavyweight Champion, five-star... It's gonna be legend. Wait for it. And I hope you're not lactose intolerant because the second half of that word is dairy. <laughs> Level one. You'll love to see it. What an incredible, incredible first start. First week.
of the show. As we are facing Monday Night Raws, we're gonna we're actually we're gonna simulate each and every single match just to see what they actually do. Considering now on this series we only have the one one opponent in Eric Bischoff, and this I'm telling you this means war. Great call leaver Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin become the first ever United States champion as Ashley is cutting the self promo a week, losing one popularity. I love to see it. It's Eugene versus Carlito. Okay. You know, Eugene is specialist and he wins in a one and a half star. You love to see it, especially for SmackDown. Another weak promo. She does not lose any popularity, but she doesn't gain any either. As Devon will go one on one against JBL, the GOAT. It's JBL. Win and, and a one and a half star. Stacy Keebler calling out Kelly Kelly. Level one rivalry. And now we have the Forbidden Door walking in as we have Shawn Michaels, who is the World Heavyweight Champ. Will he become the first ever two time second holder? Two championships in one. T -t 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 Today, Junior? <laughs> English is hard. Simulate this. As Edge and Scott Hall make sure that does not happen. But we do. But they do have a new rivalry. As we're taking a look at the curve and all of that. We got a three and a half, two and a half, three and a five star. That is a perfect, perfect drama curve. The only difference is we need some more stars. But either way, we are A-OK. -okay. As we defeated Raw in every single category, you'll love to see it. It's 61,000 plus 44,000 fans, or $44,000, 61,000 fans. Is 35, that is it. 56, they did gain some more. But that main event really, really did help us. As now, we only have, for the, after the first week, we already have almost 30,000 above our competition I mean come on when you're facing the goat of the, my GM uh, that's gonna be difficult you know that's gonna be difficult uh, to become number one when you're facing me as we are Las Vegas Nevada three weeks away Triple H I'm not happy losing my strap last week as a former champion I'm enacting my rematch clause I want a championship rematch against Undertaker hey hey that's all right okay I can do that week number two Small increase. You love to see it. And now, Triple H. At this point, you're hurting yourself. Have at least one Iron Man match this week? I mean, come on. There's a lot of permanent, de permanent deals. As Mr. McMahon, 10 weeks, that, that would be really good. But he is a heel, and I don't want to have to sit there and have to switch him over. Yeah, if, you, if you're catching my drift here. Uh, taking a look at our season challenges, though. We got 15 one-on-one -on -one matches. We're getting Commissioner Goal completed. Eight shows with all promo slots filled. That's fine. Ten tag team matches. We are looking really, really good. As we are show number two, we have our logistics. I'm kind of concerned. Maybe we should get this. Uh, it seems to be a good... Yeah, it's only $5,000. We had to get it right there, but we have to do... We do have to complete and get some more rivalries going as we do have Victoria. We have a couple of people just kind of shelf warming, if you will. But either way, John Cena and Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy only 45 stamina. Maybe. Maybe what we do. Uh, you know, what? okay. Well, we'll do this for right now. We'll do that for right now as Triple H. Ooh, we do have some good tag. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. Women's Championship. Iron Man. Stamina cost is very high, but we, we really do have to complete some of our stuff here. As our opener, I'm thinking we could probably end up doing that tag rematch. Yeah, let's do that tag rematch from the previous week. That's going to be our opener as our last match. I'm assuming... Ooh, we... We really do need an extra person. Every single person here, they do have, like, it, they got a lot of money. It's a lot of money to pay for them, and I don't think we have that much money. Seeing Stone Cold Steve Austin here, I think I'm actually going to have to take him. 
using our Legend Whisperer card. I know we could have got a better deal, but either way, I mean, w signing Stone Cold Steve Austin, we really need him. It it it's really going to help. And then this could also give The Rock something to do in our second mid card of the night. As when it comes to the promos, I am thinking we do have to... Ooh. We, we could possibly do two call-out promos. The, calling out Triple H, and then we could also do... Triple H calling out The Undertaker. I know, he only has a two... Level two, come on. Level two for Triple H? I mean, come on. As Lita, Lita can start bumping up her popularity while the women are killing it in our main event. But, yeah... I think, uh, besides maybe some seasonal goals, we got to resolve rivalries by promises. Triple H, he wants that rematch. He's going to get an exclusive rematch, so don't worry, my friend. Alrighty, we're going to confirm our booking. The commissioner goal is met. I think this is going to do our second best. That's going to do, I'm thinking, our worst. Uh, ooh, popularity. Ooh, that, that's going to be a little difficult, but it does have that championship on the line. And then our main event, and this should do our best considering it is an Iron Woman match. A level one, new champion, or not, yeah, new champion. And now, yeah, let's confirm our booking finally. As show number two kicks off with the opener rematch from last week's opener. And Eddie and Ray retain or gain. Yeah, no, they retain, but last time they gained. But either way, it's a level three robbery. Three and a half stars. You'll love to see it as The Undertaker calls out Triple H. An excellent promo. You'll love to see it. The Rock and Stone Cold. Now, on paper, this is not the worst match ever, but obviously they didn't really deliver. As a two star level one, though, and now call out from Triple H. It does. It was weak, but it still grows to level three, so we can kind of have them on the back burner there. As John Cena and Jeff Hardy, hopefully we can get this rivalry started. One, dos, tres. John Cena retains. That does start a new rivalry, though. Three and a half star. You'll love to see it. As the lead of self-promo. Okay, no popularity. That really sucks because I kind of just wasted a promo slot there. But either way, we're headed off into the main event. Where the main event will be Victoria versus Maria in an Iron Woman match for the Women's Championship. As Victoria retains once again, four star going up to a level two against Maria. Now I'm really, I'm having a lot of fun and I know, ooh, ooh. Obviously some of their commissioner goals was Iron Man as well as Raw coming back. Striking while the iron is hot, they really need to come back from last week as JBL versus Devon Dudley. JBL defeats Devon in an Iron Man match. Only a mediocre, though. That's good for us. Weak promo. Edge versus Ezekiel. It's Ezekiel. Two and a half -er. New rivalry, though. Embarrassing. You know, Raw, Eric, you, you gotta. You got to get everything up together again. Two and a half star. This is not looking good. Up to popularity. Good for Stacy. As Shelton and Great Call Lee. Iron Man match. United States Championship on the line. Let's see if Shelton Benjamin will retain. And he does. Four star. New rivalry. Same as us. As we... We had a really back and forth show between us and Raw as our opener did better. Their first mid card did slightly better, but our second mid card came up with an extra star and our main events tied as we got a good booking. We got 52,000 fans this week and we also got $50,000. We racking up that money as you love, you love to see it. As Raw only got $41,000 and $35,000. So, coming out of week two, we're doing really, really freaking good. As we are already almost $70,000 away from Eric Bischoff. And our money is starting to pile up. 
as we are now headed into week three, Phoenix, Arizona. Just a note of caution now that not, okay, blah, 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 blah. okay, just a note of caution now that Jeff Hardy 02 has a stamina level of below 40. I understand. We're we're working it out. Okay, Jeff, he's gonna take a slight. He's gonna go to the health spa real quick. He'll be back next week. I'm really sick for this upcoming PLE. Undertaker wants to be on the PLE. 88 popularity. I love to see it. Press your my rest your primary solo champions this week, and that's a three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's gonna be difficult to come back against, especially when Jeff Hardy is hurting. Ooh, I don't know. But we do, since we did get some more money, $10,000, that is really going to help us in the benefits of money, getting that new arena, the Capital Wrestling Center, as we take a look at the free agency. And is there anybody we can really get? I mean, we can get a tag team with Joey Mercury and Johnny Nitro, but we would be flat broke after signing Nitro. Legends, we're, we're, we're all right. You know, we don't, we don't need... Uh, we don't need Vincent, so I think we'll be okay. As we're already starting to rack up that tag team wrestling matches, uh, and then the promo slots filled power cards in one round, um, we might actually be able to do this. I don't know, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait. Let's wait, and let's book our show. So, in our main event, it will be Undertaker versus Triple H, as Triple H did ask for a title rematch in our main event. As that leads us to have a redo of the Week 1 and Week 2 rematch for our opening contest. As we do have The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin running a back for our mid-card. And then we will also have the Women's Champion... Shit, we're not going to have that championship be defended. You know, we, we don't need everybody, you know, defending their championship. But we do end up having John Cena calling out Jeff Hardy, trying to get that up to a level two. And then we will also have Lita cutting a self-promo. Uh, no. Well, Lita, Lita will do some advertising. She'll do some advertising, leaving one spot open. Jeff Hardy, you know, he, he's going to take a rest. He's got he's to take a break. We're going to send him to a simple health spa one, taking him up to 42 health. We'll, we'll be okay. As we go to take a look at the free agency, is there anybody we could possibly get? I'm seeing Rowdy Roddy Piper. And I'm also seeing a Hulk Hogan. Uh, we do have babyface fighters and uh, heel bruisers. That's kind of our motto. Um, also, we do have Test a Giant. Ten weeks for only 50000 That is a phenomenal deal. Michelle. We could get Michelle on a permanent deal for $90,000. i am going to have to hold off. That was way too close. Way too close. I can't really get Molly Holly. Vince, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We, we need to sign somebody, though. We really do. I'm thinking we end up signing the rowdy one himself. Once we signed him, we only have $96,000, but that is okay. That is okay because now we can get another person with five on the microphone getting us some more money. You'll love to see it as this. We're going to be confirming our show this week, show number three. So then, next week, will be the go on show for WrestleMania Backlash. As our opener, like I said, for the last two weeks, it has been a constant battle between these two teams. Let's see who will pick up the third victory. And Kane and Kevin Nash become the tag team champions in a four-star going up to a level four. It's John Cena calling out Jeff Hardy, growing that up to a level two. You love to see it. It's Stone Cold and The Rock are battling it out once again. Last time they had a mediocre match. This time, Stone Cold picking up the victory on a three and a half star. As Lita, excellent promo, gaining us $12,000 and only losing one popularity. As then, her female counterparts, Victoria and Maria, will go one on one after Victoria taking the title off of Maria. I think week one. Week one she did that. So we're going to see if Maria can finally get some more vengeance. As she does. And a three and a half. Or 
It's making me a little nervous for our main event. Three, uh, minus three popularity, but it was a good, and we're getting eleven thousand dollars. Is this? This has to be at least a four, please, please. As popularity is going through the roof already, Undertaker Triple H main event of the week, show number three, simulated it up. Undertaker retains once again in a four star. You'll love to see it with the Undertaker, the American badass in the game himself. As now we are here on Monday Night Raw as we are running through Bischoff's show. You can go Bischoff, dude. As Shelton versus the Great Call Lee. Stamina's are getting a little low, Bischoff, huh? Shelton defeating the Great Call Lee in a three star. Is Kelly Kelly calling out and embarrassing doesn't even level up the rivalry, but John the Fish Herman facing Carlito. Carlito obviously picking up the victory there in a one and a half star new rivalry. This is really looking good as Bischoff's looking to be fumbling the bag here. As JBL and Devon Dudley simulating that up. Devon finally gets a victory over JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield. As Ashley stands. <laughs> same thing, same thing. She can't get her popularity up. Whatever. Two, three. And the tag champions retain going up to a level two, three star. I would honestly, I would love to see that team. That looks like a phenomenal team. As you can see, we crushed Raw on the ratings. An amazing booking. Four star, three and a half, three and a half, and a four star. Looking phenomenal headed into the pay-per-view. And we got 62,000 fans and $111,000 in the bank. We just reached $200,000. While Raw is not doing too hot as they have 42,000 fans and only 69,000, but they are beating us in our total budget so far. Either way, we are still trampling over the ratings as we already, you know, we're already kind of demolishing Bishop when it comes to the fans. But hey, hey, we're only started. We've only just started. As we are one more week in Birmingham, Alabama, as this is war. <laughs> Bischoff declaring it as there goes Lita, there goes Hunter, and there goes Big Daddy Cool Kevin Nash. As you really, really do wait to see it, you're sorry, but yeah, those guys, they're out of here. Thanks for the title rematch. You're welcome, Hunter. Hey, boss, I've been talking with Jeff Hardy a lot lately, and he had this idea that we should team up for a title match. I think it would be an awesome tag team. I'm sorry, Roddy, I, I really can't, not this week, not within a few weeks either, because we do have some rivalries to end off. In our main event, due to the This Is War card that Eric Bischoff played on us, we're going to have to only do Jeff Hardy and John Cena, being that is our only both solid rivalry that they are not in the crapper when it comes to stamina, so yeah. For the Intercontinental Championship, it'll be John Cena versus Jeff Hardy. Then when it comes to our opener, we're going to be doing a one-on-one -on -one tables match between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Like I said, it is going to be a very, very tough show to get through. In our second mid-card, I have nothing else to do but throw in a mid-card match uh, between Maria and Victoria. Granted, both have only 45 stamina, so I'm hoping if I don't put on a title match, they're not going to have that much of a difficulty. And I did say we are lacking on stars, so we can't do the tag team rivalry I wanted to do. But either way, we do have a triple threat match between Rey Mysterio, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and Kane. When it comes to our promos, we're going to have to throw Undertaker in something. I'm guessing some more advertising considering his popularity is sky high right now. And same thing with Eddie Guerrero for our next purchase in which I'll show you in just a second. As you can see, we are going to be picking up Tori Wilson because of her 4 out of 5 promo skill. $87,000 for 10 weeks as opposed to Michelle McCool who... 
40 popularity but a 91,000 permanent deal we could easily build her up but she only does have one promo skill so we're gonna pick picking up Tori Wilson now you may be wondering why'd I buy Tori Wilson we already have a pretty stacked show but we're gonna be role changing her for so we can complete a four women roster for the to those tag championships as that looks to be just about the end of our show number four, week number four show, besides some, uh, besides the show logistics, but week number five, next week, I'm going to have to see how much that's going to cost me, and that's going to cost me $50,000. So picking up Tori Wilson, that was a really good decision, and also the two advertising, so that's, that is why I'm doing this, especially for the pay-per-view. As we confirm the booking here, I'd like to make sure to remind you to go down below, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. This should be a five-part series in which we're going to be running through ten episodes, ten shows every single episode, as we're going to be simulating our opening contest. As The Rock picking up the victory against Stone Cold Steve Austin, level 2 rivalry, it grows 3 star, uh, and honestly for This Is War, that's a, actually a pretty good start. As The Undertaker, and okay, but he lost 8 popularity, either way I'm pretty sure he's still in the 80s, and $19,000, we're gaining, we need the money. As our first mid card of the night triple threat match, will Roddy, Ray, or Kane pick up the victory? And Kane does. Kane picking up that victory in a three star. As Eddie Guerrero, minus six popularity, but did gain $16,000. You'll love to see it. As the second mid card of the night, I'm just praying these two ladies can go out. As Maria. Defeating Victoria once again in a three and a half star going up to level three. That is my bad on my part. Sorry, ladies. But either way, Tori Wilson is now a baby face as we head on into the main event between John Cena and the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. As John Cena retains against Jeff Hardy, a three and a half great match. Level three. You love to see it headed in to the pay-per-view. But before we get to the pay-per-view, we have a raw to run through as Triple Threat on the Triple Threat match. Great call, Lee. Picking up the first victory thus far in this series as now he is injured. My oh my. Bischoff, you got some explaining to do. As Stacy Kielber doing an okay pro uh, promo popularity up to... I'm... I'm guessing he needs more popularity for the ladies, but nevertheless, Carlito picking up the victory. He, he really must like Herman. As Kelly Kelly, ooh, weak promo once again. As JBL and Devon Dudley going battle. Back to back. Devon defeating JBL. Going to a level two. I saw JBL's stamina was fairly low there. As Trish Stratus, that is why he kept having Ashley cut those promos. Because she's getting into a program with the women's champion. Main event time, tag team action, and Scott Hall and Edge just keep sweeping the floor with Michaels and Ezekiel. Either way, we had a good booking, especially Bischoff throwing a card at us. Come on, we had a great booking, and we defeated him on every single match besides our main event. 48,000 fans acquired and $113,000 also acquired and we also got told Stone Cold is such a natural at tables matches. As Raw, we still defeated Raw as they gained $43,000 but they did end up breaking the $300,000 mark. As we gained free crew booking and we are still number one baby. WrestleMania Backlash Week in number 5. I haven't had any matches in a while, and the fans are starting to forget me. It's about time you woke up and put me back where I belong. I want a match in the next show. Short thing, you've been away too long. As the commissioner goal is, do not boast your book, your most popular bruiser this week. And you gain a health spot 3. That, that's actually really, really good. As we're going to be purchasing the WrestleMania Backlash package... 
And also, we're going to be purchasing the backstage crew, which we got to spend money to make money as our roster. Let's take a look at our stamina. Stamina, the worst stamina is Victoria and Maria, but that is okay with us because, because... I don't plan on having them in such a big match, but I am kind of curious to see who our most popular bruiser is, and it looks to be John Cena. I am sorry, we can't do that. Maybe, maybe we can. Maybe we can. We will end up seeing. As our main event will be The Undertaker versus Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship in a tables match, mind you. So that should, level 4 rivalry, we should be cooking. Let them cook. As our opener will be the tag team title match. And we'll also have the debut of the women's tag team championships will Vic where Victoria and Lita, her new partner Lita, will go head to head against Maria and her new partner Tori Wilson. As for our second mid card match, we'll be having a triple threat match actually with John Cena, Jeff Hardy, and the one, the only Rowdy Roddy Piper for the Intercontinental Championship. And we'll also be having Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock go head-to-head -head in a tables match. Now, I switched the Intercontinental Championship match and the women's tag just because there is no rivalry here. I would like to let Maria and Victoria simmer until maybe not next pay-per-view, but the pay-per-view following. We can have a bunch of these female, a bunch of these women going head-to-head -head just in case they need some other. Some other pairing so we can, you know, have them, you know, all that, all that. But, yeah. Uh, and then when it comes to our promos, that is going to be a tough, tough task. As I take a look at the free agency, there's not a lot of people. And I am forbidden to choosing from choosing the jobbers. So, we, we, we're not going to be able to be okay. Although, when it comes to the power cards, I am going to be picking up this health spa number two. And that. That, my friends, is how the show will fare out. Let's see how it does here in Toronto, Canada. As the opening contest, Big Daddy Cool and Kane versus Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. And they retain four and a half star instant classic. you love to see it as Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock will go head to head in a tables match. Let's see what they get for us. The Rock defeats Stone Cold Steve Austin in a four star, four and a half, four star going up to level three. You love to see it. Simulate though for the females for the Women's Tag Team Championships. Tori Wilson and Maria become the first ever Women's Tag Team Champions in a three star level one rivalry. You'll love to see it. But John Cena, Jeff Hardy and a new Roddy Roddy Piper coming into the mix, simulating it up. And Jeff Hardy finally does he completes the odds. Robbery complete with John, Jeff, everything is looking really good. As The Undertaker and Triple H will do war in tonight's main event for the World Heavyweight Championship War Undertaker holds it currently will he hold it at the end of this three count let's see triple h four and a half star you love to see it perfect perfect drama curve robbery complete as i think it's going to be a tough time for raw to even combat that show as we had two four and a half two fours and a three and a half or three i don't know i don't really remember but ezekiel and edge one dose tres edge picking up the victory and a four star already doing better we're already doing better than them as four stars Shawn michaels world heavyweight champion two three Eugene defeating Scott Hall, breaking up that tag team. And a one and a half star. Okay, doesn't start anything. That sucks. John the Fish Herman. Carlito just keeps defeating him. This time in a hell in itself. Four star. My goodness. Stacy Keebler. Still nothing. Still nothing. I'm sorry, guys. That's just the way it is. It's Ashley already picking up the women's championship. And in their main event, we have Devon Dudley, JBL, and Shelton Benjamin for the United States Championship. Let's see who walks out as champion. Devon Dudley 
Four and a half star injury alert. JBL injured for two weeks. Yikes. So we killed it that pay-per-view. Uh, amazing booking. Everything across the board. We did really, really well. I am kind of excited to see how many fans we gained this week. As we gain 155,000 fans this week and $75,000. And here's a couple of notes. Lita and Victoria work really well together as a tag team. That is perfect going forward. And Triple H is such a natural at tables matches. Need to see this more often. You'll love to see it. As they only gain 137,000 fans and they lost a lot of money. 1,000 or 100,032. 132,000. Finally got it right this time. As we are still beating them in the rankings. We're about 59,000 above. And our budget is starting to build up. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hey, my contract is up at the end of the week. Well, Steve, I would love to re-sign you. Ooh, ooh, ugh, yikes. You know what? Thanks for your work, Steve. I won't be resigning. I know that may be a difficult time, but it is what it is. Hey, Stephanie, you've seen the work I've been putting in, but I do more for the brand. Main event match. Gotcha. Uh, forget it. I wish there was a better way to say that. Maria cheated me in that last match. I want a rematch in the next two weeks. Seems reasonable, Lita. Gotcha. Alrighty, now let's select a shakeup as... The bronze, for the bronze, we have a straight through. Tables matches are free, but participating superstars lose slightly more stamina. Uh, I don't really like that. Not really. Legendary brand, the contracts of all legends you've signed this season become permanent. Um. Does this count for Steve? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we need Steve permanently. That would be great. Or we have Waterboy select a superstar. When the superstar participates in a match, all participants lose less stamina. And in our AEW My GM series, that was also a really good one. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! I'm not even going to take the chance. I'm going to do Waterboy just in case. Alrighty, now we're going to have to decide who will be our water boy this season. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh, Steve, one week left. You know what? No. Yes, please. Yes, we got him permanently. You tried, but I kept you here. As Triple H is asking, have at least one tables match. I gotcha, Hunter. And I believe our opening contest, that's not really confirmed right now, but in our opening contest, we're going to have the rematch for Lita, Victoria, Tori Wilson, and Maria. I'm hoping, I'm praying just for this for Lita so that Victoria and Maria don't get injured. That's kind of the point here. That's not, that's not possible, whatever. But either way, they have a rivalry cooking, Maria and Victoria do. And then I'm, once this match gets over with, I'm thinking next week we could do Lita and Tori starting things up. But this could possibly be our opener here in Cleveland, Ohio. As we are kind of here in this tough patch between... we, So our in our main event, it will be Triple H and Rowdy Roddy Piper. As we need a new competitor, a new challenger for Triple H's World Heavyweight Championship. As in one of our mid-card slots, we'll be having Eddie Guerrero versus Kevin Nash. Just to see if we can get some more rivalry started. And then we'll also be having John Cena and The Undertaker go one-on-one... -on -one in our other mid card. All right, I just switched up the main event and the opener just because I think it may just do a little bit better. As we'll be having the Rock call out Stone Cold Steve Austin, hopefully getting that up to a level three or level four. My bad. <laughs> and then we're gonna have Kane run some run some advertisement. We're, we really do need advertisement. That is our biggest priority here, and I know. Uh, Austin, ooh, Austin, I don't know. I think we're going to run Austin in advertising as well. Taking a look at our power cards, though, we do have a health spot number two, so I think, ooh, 
we're gonna do health spot two on our boy Jeff Hardy. Taking a look at our so logistics, everything as much as we can will be all the way up. And I think that is going to be our card for show number six as we are on the road to SummerSlam. In our opening contest, uh, what? This isn't the tag team title match? No, it is not. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Triple H is defending his championship against Roddy Piper. Will he retain? No, Roddy. Taking it, three and a half star new rivalry. Of course, I mean, Triple H, he's has to be furious after this one. As The Rock calling out Stone Cold, growing up to a level four, you'll love to see it. As John Cena will go one on one against The Undertaker, who will walk out on top. As John Cena does, two and a half star no rivalry. That is a okay. As we're getting some advertisement. Minus eight popularity, that kind of sucks. But $15,000, I will take it where I can get it. Eddie Guerrero versus Kevin Nash. Here we go. One, dos, a trace. Eddie Guerrero picking up the victory. And a three-star this time. Oh, oh, already, already a really good build. Stone Cold Steve Austin, excellent promo. Only minus two popularity. $17,000, you love to see it. And in our main event, we will see if Tori and Maria will retain or will they lose their tag team championships. Lead and Victoria pick up the victory. Three and a half star. No rivalry going up, but that, that's, that's okay. That's okay. As long as we didn't get any injuries and we did not, you'll love to see it. As we are headed in to Raw's, as Carlito will be going one-on-one -on -one against John the Fish Herman. As Carlito picks up the victory. I mean, when does he not? Level 4, though. Call out level 3. There you go. As Shawn Michaels, Adrian Buck. Debuting Adrian Buck. Against the World WWE Champions, of course, Shawn Michaels defeats Adrian Buck in a two-star. Ashley, Charity, only a 1,000, though. Scott Hall, Eugene, and Dante Roberts. Debuting Dante at the tables match. Scott Hall does pick up the victory though as Devon Dudley, new United States champ, cutting a promo. Ezekiel versus Edge. And Ezekiel picking up the victory. Three star. And this is on a week to week basis. We are always, always kicking Bischoff's Bish. Okay? We're, we're always kicking off. We're, we're the, always the fading Bischoff. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> but either way, we got 49,000 fans and $124,000 gaining us a lot more money. As Raw only gets 46,000. Did they get more than us? I don't really remember. Either way, they got $69,000 this time around. We gain an injury rehab card. Okay. For a seasonal challenge. You'll love to see it. Just in case, we'll always have that injury rehab card in our back pocket as we do have a new World Heavyweight Champion. Hartford, Connecticut. Hey, my contract is up at the end of the week. Rot row, Rowdy. 63,000. I mean, you are our champion. That seems reasonable. Small increase. Thank you for the rematch against Maria. Hey, that's, that's just what I do. Oh! Glad I joined SmackDown. It's going well at the moment. Hi, McMahon. Listen, I'm sick of working for Bischoff at Raw. <laughs> I'm more than happy to ditch my contract and come work. $163,000. Oh, I really want to... I really want to hurt him. Let's... Oh, that's a lot of money. Sure thing. $118,000, one of the worst decisions ever, but either way, we stole, we snagged Trish Stratus. So, show logistics, we're going everything up, as always, uh, free agency, though we don't have the money to get anybody, but that is okay. Uh, as you can see, we do have uh, one CM Punk here in the draft pool. In tonight's main event, we will be having a returning Stone Cold Steve Austin go one-on-one -on -one against the Great One in tonight's main event. And then in the second mid-card, we will be having Tori Wilson versus Lita as Maria and Victoria are kind of taking a break. They have pretty low stamina, so that, this is what we need to do. 
as John Cena will be going one-on-one -on -one against The Undertaker in tonight's opening contest. In a tables match, just made that up, yes. As we will have a repeat of last week where Eddie Guerrero will go on one-on-one -on -one against Kevin Nash. While Roddy Rowdy Piper, Rowdy Roddy Piper, there we go, will be calling out the game Triple H. For last week, of course, the World Heavyweight Championship, it's been kind of, kind of abrupt as Triple H, he, he wants his title back. As Rey Mysterio will be doing a self-promo just because we, we gotta get him, we gotta get him more popular. And we'll be running a charity promo with the Intercontinental Champion. John Cena versus The Undertaker from last week. This time in a tables match, we'll see who wins as The Undertaker picks up the victory in a two and a half star new rivalry between Cena and The Undertaker as we head over to Rowdy Piper calling out Triple H, growing that up to a level two. And now Eddie Guerrero versus Kevin Nash. Like I said, a repeat this time. Once again, Eddie defeats Kevin in a three star. Okay. As Rey Mysterio, weak promo doesn't go up. That as long as... Look on the bright side, he didn't go down. As now we're going to be kickstarting another women's feud between Lita and Tori Wilson. See if the one half of the tag champs picks up the victory, and she does. Two and a half star does not start a rivalry, though, as Jeff Hardy. Weak. It's all right, though. We got 1,500 fans. And in our main event, The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin, both fairly popular. Uh, the Stone Cold... You know, at 45, stamina it could be doing better, but either way, simulating it up. As Stone Cold Steve Austin picking up the victory over The Rock in a three and a half star. Headed over to Raw, we got Edge and Ezekiel running from Shelton Benjamin. As Edge, with even with the running of Shelton, defeating Ezekiel. And now, yeah! There we go, up three popularity, and then she's going to come over to our show here next week. As Scott Hall versus Eugene goes, Trace. Scott Hall picking up the victory over Eugene once again, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, once again, obviously, level two. And Adrian Buck calling out HBK. Doesn't start up anything, though. Shawn Michaels versus Chester. All right. N I was going to say, if Chester became the World WWE Champ, Bischoff's brand is already going downhill. They're going to about to reach a cliff. As Stacy Keebler going up popularity too. Hopefully, Stacy. hey, my number is open. You can call to come over to our brand anytime. As John the Fish Herman looks to finally possibly defeat Carlito, he does not in tonight's main event. Three and a half star. Wow. Popularity is really growing on the fish <laughs> we did have a poor opening uh that that's my belt my, my fault i probably should take a look but either way tables match come on you know as i just completely skipped that either way we got forty-two thousand fans and seventy-four thousand dollars. We, we really do need that money for from uh from paying 160 something thousand for trish stratus as Raw finally ended up beating us in fans, 45,000 fans, and they are really racking it up in the money department. Either way, we are still number one as we are 60,000 fans over Eric Bischoff. But our budget, you know, they, they are kind of killing us. He is kind of killing us with our budget, so. As this is show number eight, week number eight. Hi, McMahon. Great to be joining you at SmackDown. I'm raring to go and looking forward to my first match. Finally, The Rock has come back to your phone. I've been putting in a lot of work, and I think I've earned a shot at the Universe Championship. How about it? You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right, Rock. You'll get a shot within three weeks. Alrighty. Well, I think I know our main event. In tonight's main event, I may end up switching that just because there's no rivalry and all that. I have to see the rest of the card. But either way, The Rock will get his World Heavyweight Championship match against Rowdy Roddy Piper with a run-in from Stone Cold Steve Austin. As that, uh, that kind of sucks. But it's alrighty. It's alright. It's okay. We, we breeze past it. 
As in uh, one of our other matches, I still have to get everything passed. But either way, Lita will be facing against Tori Wilson with a run-in on Lita from Trish Stratus. So, Trish Stratus, big jump from Monday Night Raw. As we will have Eddie Guerrero and Kevin Nash go battle once again in a one-on-one -on -one match. And we'll also be having an Intercontinental Championship between Rey Mysterio Kane and Jeff Hardy. As we will be having a call out from Triple H calling out Rowdy Roddy Piper as we only have two shows until the paper. Speaking of call outs, we do need to have Undertaker call out John Cena to get this rivalry going as both men are kind of hurting a little bit. And we'll also be having a charity promo run by Maria. So this looks to be our card for here tonight, although I am going to change one thing. Eddie Guerrero and Kevin Nash will be in a tables match just to help with that star power. But yeah, like I said, this is our card for tonight. As will The Rock, finally, he asked for a title shot. We're giving it to him for World WWE Championship Rowdy Roddy Piper versus The Great One. Will The Rock pick up the victory for the World WWE Championship? And it does! And a three and a half star to open the show. And Triple H, afterwards, he calls out Roddy Roddy Piper because he's like, hey, hey, you, you just lost. Although, even though you don't have the World WWE Championship, I'm still coming after you. And then immediately after that, we have Rey Mysterio, Kane, and Jeff Hardy all doing war in a triple threat for the IC title. As Jeff Hardy retains over both Kane and Rey Mysterio. As The Undertaker calling out, John Cena does not go up in any sort of rivalry capacity. That kind of sucks, but either way, we do have a debuting Trish Stratus running in on Lita in her match against Tori Wilson. And with Trish Stratus' help, we do have a new rivalry and a new victor. Trish Stratus and Lita, level one. Maria with some charity, 1,000 either way. We just, we needed to have her book on the show to help with popularity. And then Kevin Nash and Eddie Guerrero in our main event. Giant versus Cruiser, Babyface versus Hale. Let's go in a tables match. Eddie Guerrero picking up the victory against Kevin Nash in a four-star amazing two going up to a level two rivalry. As over on the Raw side, we got Devon Dudley versus Chester. Chester gaining all the World Heavyweight Championship matches. But he's still not able to get the victory as Devon walks away. Still United States champ. Charity from Kelly Kelly. Weak. All right. Ooh. Two new signings from the looks of it. Lesnar and RVD. Brock Lesnar versus Rob Van Dam. Two new debuting stars. You know, everything's aligning. Rob Van Dam picking up the victory. Although, a new rivalry for them as Adrian Buck. Come on. Going up to a level two. As Carlito has a new opponent in Eugene. Carlito still undefeated, I believe. I don't believe. I don't know. Either way, we got a charity from Dante Roberts. 2.5. And our main event, and their main event, Bischoff's main event, four and a half star, yikes, yikes. We did get good booking, and we demolished them and all of them besides our main event. The main event, they did squeeze by in half a star. We did gain 48,000 fans and $73,000 with no new notes. Well, they gained 51,000 fans and $60,000, and Trish also has some. Sorry to be leaving my fans a raw behind, but some changes are for the best. Alrighty, we have a To The Moon card, only usable on superstars with less than 60 popularity, plus 15 popularity to the superstar after their next match. Alrighty, you'll love to see it as we are still killing Bischoff in these ratings. We just need some more budget and some more Hall of Fame trophies. As we are in Dallas, Texas, week number nine, I appreciate the title shot. It's good to know I've got a boss that keeps their word. Feels great to be the champion. I guess this makes me the face of SmackDown. Feel like I'm on a roll this season at SmackDown. Well, I'm happy you're happy. Look, been handing me nothing but losses. Forget it, Kevin. Sorry. Not sorry. Alrighty. Do have your most popular available male and... Okay. Male, babyface, and heel fight each other this week. 
Who is that? And that is the one, the only, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yikers. Taking a look at the free agency, though, I don't, I don't even know if there's anybody we could get. Like, I, I don't really have any idea on somebody we could end up getting. In tonight's main event, we'll have Eddie Guerrero and Kevin Nash. Eddie Guerrero, Kevin Nash, and Jeff Hardy in the IC Championship Dribble Threat Match in our main event. And then we'll also have a rematch between Triple H and Rowdy Roddy Piper. As we will have another tag team championship match between the four ladies that fought at the pay-per-view. And then in our second match, we will have John Cena versus The Undertaker finally getting them in a match again. Well, Trish Strass will be calling out Lita in her debut promo. As The Rock will be doing some advertising for us because we need some more money. As Rey Mysterio will be cutting another self-promo, hopefully we can get him some more popularity. And this looks to be our show. We're going to confirm the booking. Show number nine headed into the pay-per-view. Let's go. As Triple H versus Rowdy Roddy Piper, let's go. In our opening contest, Triple H seeking some more revenge from Rowdy Roddy Piper and a three and a half star. You'll love to see it. As Trish Stratus, good, good promo. Level two. John Cena versus The Undertaker. As The Undertaker looks to bury John Cena. Three star going up to level two. It's The Rock. Excellent promo. $20,000. 20000 minus one popularity. You'll love to see it. Thank you, Rocky. The tag team, women's tag team championships are on the line as Tori Wilson and Maria get a three and a half star going up to level three. As Rey Mysterio, good, good promo, getting some more popularity. And in tonight's main event, I may have made a mistake with this because I don't think this is going to be a four star, but let's hope that Jeff Hardy can retain here. Jeff Hardy does retain here in a four-star. You love, you love to see that. As for Raw, Ezekiel will be going one-on-one -on -one against Edge. Ezekiel picking up the victory. Three, three and a half. Dante Roberts, another self-promo. Lesnar and Rob Van Dam just putting in match after match as Lesnar gets his victory back. Chester, you'll love to see Chester here. Scott Hall versus Eugene. Eugene picking up the victory against Scott Hall. And a call out from Adrian, fuck embarrassing, but it does get the job done. Now, Devon Dudley versus JBL. Let's see. This is just an extreme rules match as JBL picks up the victory for a star over Devon. Every single match we had, it was the exact same. So, honestly, honestly, headed into the pay-per-view, we did have to kind of play it safe. But either way, now it's pay-per-view time. The final show of the night of this episode. My bad. As we did gain 52,000 fans and $122,000, we're getting a lot of money, which we love to see it. As Raw only got 48,000 fans and $74,000. And did we get more? Do we have more money than Raw? We do, as we still have roughly 60,000 fans above Raw. So we've always just kind of been consistent right there. As it is SummerSlam week number 10. I had high emotionally, high intensity between the two. Okay, I already know about that. Hey, I feel like I'm the fall guy every week. Whatever my next match is. I want to win, okay? Hey, boss, I've been talking with Rock a lot lately, and he had this great idea we should team up for a tag match. I think we'd actually make an awesome tag team. Sorry, John. Not in the plans. Either way, week number 10. In tonight's main event, we'll have The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin, a level 4 rivalry for the World Heavyweight Championship. The only downside is Stone Cold only has a 41 stamina, but either way, I'm sure he'll be okay. As in the opening contest, it will be a triple threat match between Rowdy Roddy Piper, Triple H, and Jeff Hardy. And Jeff Hardy's conquest to taking out everybody on the entire roster, this time the two of the best in the business. 
As in our third mid card, we'll have Lita versus Trish Stratus in an extreme rules match. This is going to get extreme. And we'll be having a fatal four-way in the first mid-card match of the night between Kevin Nash, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, and Kane in a fatal four-way. The former tag team, you know, guys all in this time in a fatal four-way, and I'm which I'm sure it's going to end up being a tag team match once again. As we will have a women's championship tables match between Maria and Victoria. We'll be running advertising with The Undertaker, advertising with John Cena, and a self-promo from Tori Wilson. Uh, actually, you know what? Advertising with Tori as well. As we take a look, we're actually going to take a look at the free agency. Oh, my bad. Before we do that, though, we are going to be running through. We do... Ooh, we should probably get this. Yeah. $50,000, that is $50,000, maybe not down the drain, but we may be able to get some more people. As we will be picking up CM Punk for 10 weeks. So that he can also cut a self-promo a slot so we can get all of the promo slots filled. Now, we are going to confirm the booking and head into the simulation portion. In tonight's opening contest, we'll have a triple threat match. Like I already stated, we'll see who walks out as Intercontinental Champion. And Triple H does. There we go. A four and a half star already. You'll love to see it. As The Undertaker getting us $16,000, only losing two popularity. Fatal four away match underway as we have the winner, Kane. Kane, who's kind of been silenced since the start or since the last pay-per-view, but we do have a new rivalry between Rey Mysterio and Kane, in which that's actually what we wanted. It's John Cena, another advertising excellent $15,000 minus two popularity. You love to see it. As Lita and Trish Stratus look to kick, getting kind of like their first match in this feud going as Lita, Trish Stratus, Extreme Rules match. Who will win? Trish Stratus winning her debut in a three star as Tori Wilson. Excellent. 14,000 minus two popularity. Either way, we got three excellent advertising in a row. As the women's championship match is underway, Maria versus Victoria. Their rivalry has kind of calmed down to a level one, but either way, Victoria getting a four star. You'll love to see it. As the debuting CM Punk Week promo. Either way, you know, debuting, it is what it is. Now, the main event time before, between Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Stone Cold Steve Austin for the World Heavyweight Championship. Simulate one, two, three. Stone Cold Steve Austin closing SummerSlam as World Heavyweight Champion and four and a half stars. Now, with Raw, we do have this Fatal 4-Way. I'm actually going to simulate everything just because I'm a little running short on time. But either way, we'll finish this episode. As we did have an amazing booking. Four and a half, three, three, four, four and a half. Amazing booking. You'll love to see it all the way through. We almost defeated Raw on every single one besides the second mid card. As we gained 148,000 fans and $123,000. What a killer show, says King Street 80. While Raw only got 128,000 and 36,000. That is it. Yikes. Raw went all out for only a little bit of fans. As we did get a Veto random superstar. A Veto star. There we go. You love to see it. We have 171,000 fans, or 1,700,000, 21, 721,000 fans, and we almost have $400,000 in the bank. But this has been the first 10 weeks of the Ruthless Aggression, the very first episode for the Ruthless Aggression era My GM series, as we are on a road to Hell in a Cell, as we lost our champion for next episode, Jeff Hardy. That, okay, okay, hey, either way. It's fine. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you're down below. Actually, we got emails first. Some come up. Jeff can't take part of the show. This has got to stop. I'm seriously unhappy. Jeez, come on, Kevin. Moderate decrease. Hey, boss, I have a proposal for you. How about you and I have a partnership? No can do, Lita. I am so sorry. As much as I love being out there, I can't do it. Oh, yeah, and a shakeup. Sweet. 
uh, straight through. Tables matches are free, but participating superstars lose less. We already had that one last time. Extensive PR training. Select the superstar with a mic skill of 1 to change their mic skill to 5. Or all match types cost 20% less. Ooh, this is probably best bang for our buck. It's either Jeff or Maria. We're going to go Jeff Hardy. So Jeff Hardy does have a skill, mic skill of five, which that is going to be very, very useful. But after 10 shows, this is it. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you go down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever the time is for you. And goodbye.